Hey, what's going on, Facebook world, Facebook land? It's your man, Jerry Goins. Uh, you're about to start seeing me a little bit more. I know I go on hiatus and everything like that, but coming back for the people because y'all need it. So go ahead, tap in, share this with your peoples, and uh, comment below what city, where you where you tuning in live from, all that good stuff. But today, I got a quick tip for you, uh, and what we're dealing with is home buyers and homeowners. So, quick tip for my home buyers and homeowners. Now, if you've heard of a program called FHA, definitely want to tap in with your um, your, uh, your your real your realtor or your real estate agent and ask them about. Uh, FHA loans. If they don't know about FHA loans, then man, you with the wrong real estate agent. Let me tell you. Okay, especially if you're a first-time home buyer, because these programs, instead of the traditional 20% down that most mortgage lenders require on the home, uh, FHA loans are only three to five percent. Okay. Um, now you're not going to get the best interest rate, of course, because you know it's a uh, first-time home buyer uh, loan. So you know it's going to have higher interest rates because it requires a lower credit score and a lower down payment. So there's a lot of risk on the lenders. So they're going to make you pay for it in the long term. Okay. And when we talk about mortgages, this is a little off topic, but when we talk about mortgages, uh, the percentage definitely matters because the difference between uh, paying a 3% interest and paying a 4% interest can end up being 70 to $100,000 over the course of that 30 year note. We're talking about 30 years of interest. Okay, so little points between like three and 4% really matter. But um, but yeah, the higher you score, the better. And um, that's, of course, that's, that's, you know, that doesn't need to be said that's not today's tip but uh, I'll get into the tip in just a second though but I want you to share this especially for anybody that's looking to buy a home uh, soon okay we do help with credit so that's a, a really something that I want to put out there to the world you guys need to understand Goins Financial is our company we're partnered with an amazing company called Nove Money uh, but here's the tip let's go ahead and get into it y'all ready y'all ready y'all ready where you at where you at where you at okay so when you do get that FHA loan only bad part about it is they require something called PMI. So I want you to write down there PMI. What is PMI? That means private mortgage insurance. Now, depending on your risk level, you could be paying an additional 100 to 300 to 400 dollars per month on your mortgage note. You know, so uh, we pay like an extra 190 dollars on PMI. You know, and that's you know. The thing about it is that they don't tell you. Here's the trick that they don't tell you. You don't have to keep PMI forever, okay? So once the equity in your home, or because you're making payments every month, eventually you're gonna try to pay off the house, right? So that money that you're paying to actually buy the house out completely, that's called your principal. So you're paying back the principal, okay? Once your principal is 20% of the actual loan, you don't have to carry the PMI anymore, okay? So that's gonna save some people hundreds of dollars off their mortgage right now because you're already at that 20% le uh, level. So I want y'all guys to remember that, like especially if you're looking to buy or if you own a home, uh, once you reach that level of 20%, you don't have to uh, carry that PMI anymore, all right? And that's gonna save you some money, some money, some money, some money, okay? So definitely share this. Um, like it if you like it like it if you like uh free information like it if you love wealth information and share this because it's going to be more things like this coming on in the future and it's hot out here so i'm about to go back inside but y'all peace thanks for uh following